Welcome to the Continuum Lab. This is the mouthpiece that I made in the last video. It has a capacitive sensor which gives progressive feedback when I move my lower lip. But that's old news. Uh, today I want to try something more challenging, something which can really trick my brain. You see, when you play a real acoustic instrument, it's not just your lips, but actually the whole column of air, right from the bottom of your lungs and down to the tip of the instrument, which affects the tone. A good way to think of it is that it's like the way you use your tongue to form different vowels. A, E, E. Now these are acoustic effects of sound waves bouncing around inside your mouth. And of course, my MIDI mouthpieces don't produce any sound waves at all. But what if I used light to accomplish something similar by illuminating the inside of my mouth and then measuring how that light bounces around? I already implemented this trick years back in my open horn MIDI system, but that mouthpiece uses 3D printing and other complicated techniques. So today I'll be showing you how to make an easy DIY version using recycled materials and simple components. And all in the next two minutes. Let's do it. I'm going to be using the same DIY breath sensor as last time and connecting the new mouthpiece to that. I'll need some of this corrugated cardboard plus a bit of plastic from a food container as well as these two modules here from my Continuum Lab instrument kit. This is the BPW34 photodiode and this is a standard 3mm LED. For the BPW34 I'm using a 220 kilo ohm resistor, a pretty high value which will give me the height sensitivity that I need for this. The first thing I need to do is to make a hole in the plastic for the breath sensor tube to pass through. Then I prepare a cardboard structure which will help hold everything together. This design might seem a bit clumsy, but it's the easiest shape to make which will also fit all of the necessary parts and components on there. Notice that I've cut an angle into this tip piece. This will tilt the sensor module and LED slightly towards each other, which will greatly increase the sensitivity. So the sensor module goes on one side and then the LED goes across from it. Now you see the angle. Next I bend the plastic to fit over the whole structure and then I'll add a capacitive sensor which really just means a piece of copper sticky tape with a cable soldered to it. That goes on the inside of the plastic right here under my upper lip position. After that I'm ready to glue the whole thing shut and then I'll plug the sensors and LED into the breakout door. And now I'm ready to connect to the computer via USB and upload a bit of code. This sketch includes the original breadth sensor code as well as the code for the new sensors. I set it up in the code so that the LED only turns on when your lip activates the capacitive sensor. So when that happens the LED will then illuminate the inside of your mouth and then the BPW34 is able to measure changes in the intensity of light reflecting off your tongue. Let's try it out. Okay, that's just the breath sensor without the filter. Now let's try to activate the filter as well. <laughs> that's so cool. It actually feels like this mouthpiece is responding to vowels right now. Just like I said in the beginning of the video, A, E. -E. Uh, to try to make that a little bit more clear, let me try to change the filter here. I'll turn on the Yoshimi Vocal Morph filter. Man, that's so much fun. This is one of my favorite mouthpiece sensor setups just because of the way it completely tricks my brain into thinking that there's something acoustic going on when there's really not at all. In the next video, I'm going to have a go at making a brass instrument mouthpiece emulator where the sensors don't just affect a filter like on this one, but instead they help define the actual note that sounds from a series of overtones. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of that, then you should definitely subscribe right here in the Continuum Lab YouTube channel and also find me over on Instagram, also as Continuum Lab. And that's all for now. Take care until next time and I'll see you in the Continuum.